What's up, Anumanjians? And welcome back. So we have a new trailer today, and it's for Shaft. Yes, a new Shaft film is coming out this year, and what better time to release a new trailer for it than during Black History Month? Now, <clears throat> I'm not really familiar with uh, Shaft. I've seen the Samuel L. Jackson movie from 2000. I've seen that about maybe once or twice. I've never seen the original film. Don't take my black card away just yet, okay? I know who the guy is. I'm just not familiar with the original version, okay? Uh, but it seems here like the studio has decided like they're going to pull out all the stops and bring not one or two, but three versions of Shaft back. For this film. Uh, seems like they really want this film to succeed. Uh, so we have Samuel L. Jackson who's playing uh, uh, Shaft the second or uh, sh the, the original Shaft's nephew. We have Richard Roundtree who was the original Shaft who played in the, in the 1971 film version. And we have the newbie Jesse Usher uh, who's going to be playing this uh, Shaft the third or this generation's Shaft. Um, the, the question is, is this film going to connect with audiences? It's been a long time since the character has been on the big screen. Uh, even with Richard Roundtree re returning Samuel L, uh, you know, com coming back and reprising the uh, role, is it enough to really get audiences interested in the character that we haven't seen, um, <clears throat> in... I'd say almost 20 years. The, the Samuel L. Jackson film came out in the year 2000. That's a long time to revisit a property like, like this. And, you know, I know a lot of studios are hopping on the black train because of Black Panther last year and how successful that was. Uh, but was this really the right property to return to? Only time will tell, but let's stop talking about it and look at the trailer and see if something that sounds cool on paper it's going to translate well to the big screen. Uh, but before we do that, if you have not done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can get more content like this, which contains movie news, reviews, and reactions from your boy Derek right here at Anamanji. Do not forget that if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button so that you can see more of me. And also, don't forget to click that bell notification so that you'll know when I post another video where we can talk more movies. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking for Chef. Who's asking? John Chef Jr., your son. My son? Junior? Yeah. They say that cat shaft is a bad mother. Shut your mouth. You know him. He thinks he's a black James Bond. That dude was real. He think it was me. <laughs> if you go pursue this investigation, I'm gonna have to babysit your ass. Damn! Oh, look at here! How long's it been? Hmm, never long enough. Lady Syphilis, Madam Chlamydia. Lovely to meet you both. Junior's mom. She'll look better. <laughs> Okay, I'll buy it. 
I buy it, all right? Uh, I like the tone that they're going with this movie. They're definitely going for, a, a, you know, a more humorous uh, a, a tone here, uh, which I feel like is probably the best thing. Not a serious tone. I felt like the 2000, or the film that Samuel L. Jackson did back in 2000, was, you know, it, it took a more serious tone, and I'm, I'm guessing that was for the times. Of course, it had its fair share of humor, but I feel like this is definitely going for a more fun time at the movie theater type feel. And that's, and that's great. I think that that's perfect. Uh, one of my favorite parts was, you, you know, uh, uh, Samuel L. Jackson and uh, his son having the back and forth where uh, his son's like, you can't hit a woman that's misogynistic. And he's like, hey, I didn't mention her gender. I'm an equal opportunity for, you know, I feel like that's very, very, uh, 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 it's, it's on the nose, yeah. But it's very relevant. You know, it, it kind of brings the character up to, you know, modern society and what's going on in the world. And I think that that's awesome. Uh, it was really good to see Regina Hall in this. Jesse Usher, I feel like uh, his character is going to be pretty funny. Um, and I also like that, that, that they didn't make him, you know, more, more experienced and more cool than he needed to be. You know, he's still the the a newbie because that's how the audience is going to look at him like he's the the newbie and like he needs to learn from from the you know older generations and that's that's wonderful don't kill off the original shaft in this okay keep him alive let's just have a good time at the movie theater um whether or not i think this is going to succeed at the box office or not it, it you know i'm not too sure it looks fun to me but I don't know if a lot of people are familiar enough with the character to go and to go and watch this, which is probably why they decided to go with the fun tone um, to kind of pull in newbies and, of course, people who, you know, who grew up with them. Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to work. We'll see uh, when this is coming out. Let's take a look. June 14th is when this movie is coming out. So uh, they'll probably release another trailer. But until then... This is what we have. What did you guys think of it? Are you excited for Shaft's return? Are you excited to see Richard Roundtree back in the role, if you're, if you're familiar? Are you excited to see Samuel O. Jackson back in, in the role? And what do you think of Jesse Usher's performance here? Did you think it was fun? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you have not done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can get more content like this, which contains movie news, reviews, and reactions from your boy Derek, right here at Anamanji. Don't forget to click that bell notification to know when I'm gonna upload again. And if you like this video, like that button. Until next time, stay dope.